Today we're going to learn how to create this liquid reveal animation inside of a light motion without using any premium effects. This tutorial was inspired from an After Effects tutorial I watched years ago. Without wasting much time, let's open a light motion and get started. We'll start by creating a new project. I'm naming it Liquid Reveal. Set the, the resolution to your desired preference, I'm using 60 frame per second for a much smoother animation. I'm going to be using this image I drew with the vector drawing tool. You can go ahead and download it, I'll drop the link down in the description below. With the layer selected, go to effects, search for offset and apply the standard settings. Before we continue, let's extend our timeline to about 4 seconds. Now go to the offset, set a keyframe at the beginning, move to the end and increase the X value to about 1000. You might see this cut at the edge, to fix this, simple increase the size of the image a little and it'll cover up the gap. Now let's easy ease it. We're going to add one more effect, search for solid color and apply it. Here we're going to change the color to sky blue, you can go ahead and copy the color hex code here, you don't need to add this effect if you draw a vector of this image, you can just simply change the fill color. Now let's add our text. I'm simply going to type liquid and I'm going to be using this font called Oswald Bold, but you can choose to use a PNG logo here instead. Let's extend it to the end of the timeline. Now select the image, set a keyframe for its current position, go to the end and move it up till it covers the text like this. Let's add some easing to it. Select easy ease and adjust the curve to something like this. Now select the text and change its blending mode to mask, and here's what we have. Now duplicate the image, shift the layer forward like half a second. Go to the solid color effect and change the color to a light blue, duplicate it again, shift it forward and change its color, this time to cyan blue, and here's what we have. Let's extend the layers to the end of the timeline. For the bubble effect, we're going to create a rectangle, set its color to black, go to options and select fill screen then extend it to the end then go to effects search for dots and apply the standard settings set the radius to 0.1 make sure both colors are white and reduce the density to about 10. at the beginning of the timeline set a keyframe for offset move to the end and reduce the y value to around minus 400. also set a keyframe for the phase value and increase it to 1. We're going to apply one more effect to it. Search for chroma key and apply the standard settings, then set the key color to black. At about half second to the end, set a keyframe for the layer's opacity, move to the end and reduce the opacity to zero. To mask the particles inside the text, bring the layer down, duplicate the image at the bottom and set the blend mode to mask, then select both the particles and image mask and group them together, then bring the group layer right below the text. Finally you can go ahead and group all of them and use a rectangle or an image for your background. That's it for today's tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, or learned something new, if so, please don't hesitate to leave a like and if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. On our next tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this classic split transition, so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll get notified as soon as I upload it. Thanks for watching, bye for now.